so hello welcome back again especially this uh, the 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 study abroad aspirants those who are planning to come to japan and the hokkaido university i had some uh, kind of uh, the information that people ask me uh, let's say the dormitory allocation after you are uh, selecting or coming here and even uh, uh, the initial uh, what to say the where we get this uh, the rental equipments and where we, we, whom who is the reliable person or who is the, uh, the recommended place where we can go and buy all these things so there are some uh, kind of repeated questions on this topic so i thought i'll share my uh, observations because i am here so i can share my opinions very clearly compared to other people and we had uh, given orientation for uh, engineering uh, school entrance in the last april and this uh, october also we are having orientation session there we have shared this similar information so one of such is uh, the, about the dormitories so the dormitories i think you will get the mail about uh, a few months before uh, coming to japan uh, coming to uh, your uh, admission let's say october enrollment or april enrollment so when you get the dormitories list which one to select there is some different uh, kind of uh, discussion on that uh, that topic so to my observation so there are uh, let's say the kethagiriya and uh, uh, for boys and uh, rio rio uh, soseryo for girls these are the uh, the oldest dormitories the japanese style and very cheap so basically these two dormitories looks to be very cheap in your mail when you receive the document maybe uh, you, you may feel like you want to apply for that so i'll recommend you can apply in the pre preference but uh, mostly that will not come for the scholarship students but self funded students there is a high chance they may get for one semester and later you cannot get so that is one thing you can uh, put that uh, the category or uh, so serio very small the the lowest uh, expense for the dormitory the rental uh, in the first first six months and then the second option is that the distance let's say the hokkaido university the graduate school of agriculture division is in kita uh, kita 8 that is north 8 uh, the coordinates and it goes up to north 21 uh, each each coordinate will be around 200 meters so 21 to 8 about 12 coordinates means 12 into 200 about 2.4 kilometers the uh, the length even uh, up to 3 kilometers so there are dormitories in kita 8 uh, that is uh, kita 8 uh, uh, dormitories and another one is in kita 23 and there are uh, another dormitory in fushimi and there is one more dormitory support international house that is another uh, a bit far from the university so you should consider your school location agriculture agriculture school at kita 8 and up to engineering uh, kita uh, 10 or 12 and then uh, the life sciences and uh, veterinary schools in kita 20 kita 18 so it's a bit far but for kita 20 kita 21 the kita 23 dormitories are nearby but for kita 8 the schools this side this is nearby so like that you can check your school location if you are going for the experimental research or experimental laboratory work regularly so that is one thing you need to remember for dormitory sele uh, selection and the second one the uh, if you are uh, kind of let's say if your uh, work is concerned with the simulation you don't require lot of uh, time to go to lab and coming back so uh, remember the city la city uh, the night life or whatever the restaurants and even pubs and all this party culture will be there in uh, near the kita Uh, what to say the odori and suzuki no that is very near to kita 8 so it's like uh, it will be a bit far if you choose this kind this side dormitories but uh, if there is no option you have to choose that is a, a different story so if you want to choose that one uh, you can uh, if you have option to work from home and all these things you can choose the support international house because it's near to city uh, center area and then you can come to university every day or about 3 to 4 kilometers or 5 kilometers but in winter it will be challenging that's where people consider very a uh, closest one and the next topic is uh, let's say uh, the duration because you need to stay uh, only six, i mean you cannot stay more than 6 months in the dormitory so that time you will end up uh, uh, need to find some new dormitory which is near to your school and then uh, you need to move out for that uh, the support international house will allow you to stay longer than 6 months up to 2 years or 3 years of your course duration the only problem is it's a bit far but if your work uh, you, you can manage means you can choose that one i have heard some people choose because they don't want to move out and even there is no deposit or initial the, the expenses are a bit cheaper than outside except the distance part 
so that is another side and uh, if you are a married couple or if you are a married person there are some government uh, uh, government buildings where you can get the accommodation it's a bit far than the, all of these locations it will be maybe 5 to 6 kilometers but the expense is very cheap almost 50 percent or less less than 20,000 or so it's old buildings they usually allocate for the married phd scholars but some people say it's possible even for the bachelors uh, who are not married also but i'm not sure i'm <laughs> kind of uh, uh there is a mixed opinion so maybe for married scholars it's clear you'll get if you are married if you know driving license if you can get uh, driving uh, because it's rental and car it's uh, it's not so expensive so you can get the car here and then go to that uh, that uh, get that buildings accommodation and then travel every day or even public transport also it's not expensive if you want to use uh, uh, the lowest the cheaper dorm it is a big house in japanese style again these are dormitories and apartments uh, almost everywhere you will not get any um, the university the dormitories you will get that furniture for six months but after that anyway you require a uh, way to buy this uh, the uh, furniture in japan basically you know that you cannot uh, easily throw the garbage that's the reason people actually give out for free or maybe at cheaper price but whom to trust whom to rely like uh, uh, which is the uh, the best source that's a question mark right so for that there are a couple of groups who are actually helping uh, whom you can approach for uh, getting the second hand items let's say the university uh, international group there is a uh, groups likewise every university may have that groups so that international university uh, groups and also there are some uh, buy and sell groups in the city and there's another startup in uh, uh, the two guys in in Hokkaido university like this uh, this also they support including the driving support also like uh, they uh, they map the student the drivers who are having the license and they map you the requirement with the nominal charges they'll give you, they'll get you the second hand the refrigerator and uh, washing machine and the microwave and all these major equipment uh, even the tables and chairs also sometimes and even the heaters so there are many resources you can check two guys in website also and even hoisa the student international uh, group uh, international student group and also the what is that the buy and sell group or the open forum groups that is also good so these places you will find the uh, you will find the the required uh, the furniture for the apartment after moving out if you want to avoid this uh, furniture uh, uh, etc you can go to the support international house and you can stay complete your duration there is they will give all the furniture except the minor uh, the utensils part where you for cooking and daily needs the those you can buy in a hundred in shop that daiso are uh, there are multiple daisos again so you can buy one of those or even the home act so yeah that is one thing and uh, this one yeah and the next one uh, the sim part actually i wanted to highlight uh, maybe because some of you it will be useful uh, if you are coming to japan let's say masters or phd maybe for masters also if you are coming on the first month uh, please try to go for rakuten mobile service they have a good cheap a good and cheap service uh, for uh, internet uh, the sim uh, subscription basically uh, the why because i am saying the first month the first week uh, i am saying because uh, they are expecting your visa to be uh, the the visa permission uh, should be at least 2 years uh, the 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 residence permit so they require that one so after your residence registration in the first week or first few days please go to the rakuten and get your sim there that's the best thing i could recommend and then next option will be uh, maybe you can find uh, the uh, gtn mobile and uh, the, this also some people are using it's uh, economical likewise uh, there are a few more like softbank and mobile uh, sim and uh, yeah i use rakuten because i am a phd scholar i can get this sim uh, because my visa duration is more than two years i can get that one and also i have the softbank sim uh, the data data from some mobile so that also i am using uh, these two are seems to be more useful and uh, the another one is uh, the credit card so another interesting thing is in japan uh, like in india we have that mobile uh, payment systems uh, maybe in other countries also likewise japan they use line pay very effectively for that you need japanese sim if you register Japanese SIM, uh, after buying Japanese SIM, you can sign up with the line pay and then you can enable the credit card, virtual card. For that, you can load the money uh, from your bank. That also you can verify. There is some minor procedure. Please do that. 
and you'll get the virtual card that you can use for most of your subscriptions and make a note of the date uh, when you need to pay the bills so that you can keep the money in that account and that money will be deducted every month so you need to recharge uh, your account or maybe auto pay auto loading may be there so that is also a good option uh, line pay and uh, yeah i think this couple of things i wanted to highlight for especially those who are coming to hokkaido university for masters or phd and even uh, internship students uh, some of these things may be helpful for six months or one year stay people and uh, yeah i think that's all for this video i have few more information on the the opportunity site of kaido university maybe it will be replicated possible to see in other universities also so i'll be sharing soon about that in another video so wish you good luck and uh, have a good day thank you